If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. Hello everyone, this is the Ford Explorer extended range all-wheel drive and now we're gonna do a range test with 110 kilometers an hour. I'm charging to 80% here, I'm doing a charging test filming it and this because this car has a 79 kilowatt hour battery and I want to see if it has the charging curve of the ID3 GTX, it has the same battery or still a charging curve of the ID4 GTX that back in the day had 77, now also 79 kilowatt hours. Um, so, like I said, charge to 80%. The car has uh, summer tires on, 20 inch, 235 in the front, 255 in the rear. And we're gonna go right here on the highway, drive 110 kilometers an hour GPS speed and see what we get range out of it. I'm on my way again. Now I'm driving 113 on the speedometer. If there's no one in front of me that drives too slow, like now, and I can't go out because there's traffic. Um, I started with 80%. I have the AC on and 21 and a half degrees in auto. I'm in normal mode. I used 10% of the battery and drove 70, uh, 37 kilometers. So that's only 370 kilometers of range, but I only used 10% and the first 10 kilometers were uphill and the drive is not great. So um, I'm driving my 113. It's a, a, lot, uh, a lot of cars and a lot of cars that are driving slow because holiday weekend on Monday today, they're going somewhere and then they're going 110, I have to pass them. And um, because someone is coming with 130, I have to pass them with 120. So that's not perfect for consumption, of course. How is the Ford Explorer extended range all-wheel drive when you drive 110 on the highway? And it's of course quieter than with 130, it's less wind noise and significantly, I noticed that. So listening to the podcast now is way, way easier. So before it was already good, but now it's just, I don't have to turn it up that much. The AC is pretty nice. I found that it was a bit cold on my feet, so I put it out of auto and onto the window on, on the body, but not on the feet. Still 21 and a half degrees, still normal mode, no eco mode. And it's fine, it's not gonna be a big difference anyway, since I'm not using a lot of power. The same, everybody's always saying, if you drive in D, it's less consumption, not when you drive constant. D and B on, uh, has only impact on the consumption if you drive city and extremely looking forward. Oh, there's a light, it's gonna turn red, I'm gonna let it roll there. Um, it's the only thing where, and then even then, the difference in consumption is not very high. I just like B because it's comfortable. I don't have to switch between the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal every time I want to slow down. Because that happens a lot, just a bit.
while I was turning around I was at 55% so used 25% of the battery and drove 98 kilometers so that's a full range of 392 kilometers average consumption 194 it's still 17 degrees out there AC is still at the same setting I think I put the airstream a bit down even but nice and comfortable still busy we'll see when we go direction of Munich in I don't know 50 kilometers if it's a bit better I used 50% of the battery and drove exactly 200 kilometers so 400 kilometers of calculated range average consumption is 191 watt hours per kilometer average speed 109 because I have to pass so many times and drive a bit faster that's how it is I already navigated back to the charger I have 74 kilometers to go car thinks I arrive with 10 percent it will be more because it also thinks I you, I need 36 minutes for 74 kilometers and that is when you drive 120 and that when you drive 110 so it will be a bit later and I will have a higher state of charge arrived with 13 percent average consumption 188 276 kilometers driven Google Maps says it's 275 kilometers if I take the distance I have driven and how much state of charge I used to get to 410 kilometers of range here is all the data by the way and if you want to compare cars in the description below there's a link to a Google sheet where all the cars I ever tested are in there very very important um, yeah was a good drive I had to accelerate a lot to pass I had passed a hundred times or so because it was so busy and so many cars were driving slower and a lot of cars that have to they passed were driving fast and so it's dangerous and so I have to drive 120 sometimes even more that's just how it is hmm but other than that it was a great drive and great weather if you want to follow me on instagram bet you life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes I have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye